We're lazy. We are criminals. Undocumented. Abusamos del sistema. Sexualized. We're a drain on society. Perceptions matter because... When you hear it over and over, sometimes you internalize those things. Que afecta nuestra autoestima y también la habilidad que nosotros tenemos para insertarnos en conversaciones que afectan nuestra salud o inclusive para buscar servicio. We have doctors, we have scientists, we have lawyers. I am a writer. A filmmaker. A community organizer. HIV healthcare advocate. Yo creo que ahora en adelante nosotros somos los que estamos ahí dando la voz a todas nuestras comunidades. In terms of HIV, one of the things that holds us back is the conversation of sex in the Latinx community. We need to lose the stigma that having talks about sexual health bring to our family dynamics. This is important to me because HIV took a lot from me. It took me years and years um, at doing this work before I finally told my doctor, hey, so that PrEP thing, like, tell me more about it. I think that one of the ways to get young Latinx folks into PrEP is going where the community is. We need to get out of the clinics and into the nightclubs and we need to demystify sexual health. This new generation is really encompassing the passion and the drive that we need. We come from a long line of advocates and activists, and it's within us to end the HIV epidemic. Está en nuestro código genético el crear familias y el apoyarnos como familia. It has been proven that when we come together, we can achieve greater things. I feel a strong responsibility as a younger gay Latino man to fight for health equity for Latino communities and to help end the HIV epidemic. It's not just me. There are thousands of people like myself who are working to end HIV. There are so many things that we still need to do, but at the same time, there is so much energy and power to do so that I feel hopeful and passionate about the things that we are currently doing to take us there. Yo soy la persona que sigue creyendo que esto puede ser mejor.